Welcome back to another video it feels like a very long time since i uploaded one but it really only has been two or three days but um let's go ahead and get started so as you can see i already prepped the nails um i already applied my tips and shaped them and the tips that i use are from a cart and i absolutely love them i purchased them maybe a couple of weeks ago and this is my first time using them and they were very easy to shape and as you can see it, it, it looks very clean so I actually love them and I do recommend them and I'll leave the link in the description box below along with the video of the haul up in the cards. So um, today we are going to do a strawberry nail art design and it was inspired by my family's outing this past weekend. We went out to the fields to pick strawberries and I had a good time. My kids had a good time and so that's what we're going to be doing today okay so first i'm gonna start by applying a very thin layer of the clear acrylic from me a secret on the two middle fingers that's where i'm gonna be applying the strawberries and the clear is just so my um strawberries will have something to hold on to something to stick to and then the monomer that i'm using is from uh, mia secret as well and i'm going to be using my brush from young nails the artistic um sculpture brush i think it's called so that's what i'm going to be doing first and as you can see here, I already took out my tray of fruits. So I'm only using the strawberries. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is apply a very thin layer of the clear acrylic. And then I'm gonna grab the strawberries and I'm gonna start placing them where I want them to be, making sure that I press the strawberries down into the clear acrylic because I don't want them to be sticking out or look too bulky towards the end. All right, so now that I'm pretty much um, done placing my strawberries where I want them to be, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Frosted Pink from Mia Secret, and don't let the name fool you because it's not pink at all. Um, it's like a milky, a milky white color, and I'm gonna use the color Impression from Glam and Glitz. And this is just to give it a little, like a smoothie, milky bath kind of look to the strawberries. And I'm gonna be using very wet beads just because I don't want the color to opaque because I don't want my strawberries fully covered. So I'm gonna be doing this to both of the nails. And then um, where I see that it looks more opaque, I'm just gonna kinda like brush it off or apply more monomer to it just to be a little bit more wet.
Okay, so now that I'm done applying the two uh, powders for the milky look, um, this is how we're looking so far. Doesn't it look kind of like delicious? Like, doesn't it want to make you just go get some strawberries and dip it in like some cream or go get a smoothie or something like that? Um, but anyways, so I'm pretty much done here. Um, the next, what I'm going to do is... Let me see what I do next because I don't remember because I recorded these a couple of recorded the video a couple of days ago. Okay, guys, so now I'm moving on to the index finger and the pinky. And with these two fingers, I'm gonna do like a little marble effect kind of look. So I'm gonna be using impression again from Glam and Glitz, and I'm gonna be using the white acrylic powder from Mia Secret. And so I'm just going to take like semi-wet beads just so um, I can be able to maneuver the powder around and swirl it just to give it that um, marble look. Even though you can't really tell because the pink is so light, but um, it still came out really pretty. So I'm going to be doing this to both uh, the pinky and the index finger. So as you can see, I'm grabbing one bead first of the pink and then another bead of the white and then kind of swirling it. And then wherever I think I need more white or more pink, I'm just applying another bead. And again, they're wet beads. And then you just want to take your brush and gently swirl it around or move it to wherever you want it to go. All right, so now I'm done with both of those fingers and this is what we're looking like so far. Um, trust the process, ladies. Trust the process. Uh, we're going to get there. So, um, yeah, they're looking cute so far. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and encapsulate them and I'm going to do that with um, the clear acrylic and that's going to be for me a secret. Okay, moving on to capping all the nails with the clear powder. With the clear powder, I am going to create my thickness to the nail along with the apex. I don't do this with the color powders. The, the color powders is strictly just for design purposes. And so I'm going to do this to all four nails. When you do place down your beads, you want to make sure you're cleaning um, your sidewalls as well, just so you can keep maintaining that shape. And so... Um, um, here, you're just going to watch me cap all nails, and then I'll be back.
So here when capping the nails with the strawberries, um, you want to make sure that you get the strawberries all fully covered with the clear acrylic. But again, you don't want it too bulky either. And even if you do have some strawberries poking out of the clear, well, at least for me, um, I don't care if I foul off some of that strawberry when it comes to filing. Um, I think it gives it more of a, like a, a cool effect, like, you know, because they are kind of like milky bath strawberries. So if you do have some chopped up strawberries in there per se because you filed them off, it's okay. I mean, I think it'll give it a cool look. All right, so I'm done capping all the nails. This is what they look like. Next time you see the nails, they are gonna be filed and shaped. All right, so my nails are all filed and shaped. Let me know what you guys think so far. Aren't these pretty cool? I think so. Well, I mean, because I did them, I guess, but <laughs> I'm a biased opinion. But um, yeah, these are pretty cool. This is my first time doing like a milky bath smoothie kind of look. So yeah, I think they're super cute so far. Um, so next we're gonna move on to applying the rhinestones on the pinky and the, and the index finger. All right, onto the rhinestone placement. I got my rhinestones out and I'm using my, what is this thing called? Jewel picker upper, rhinestone picker upper, thingy majigger, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so I'm just going to use the gem glue that I use all the time and I'll leave the link in the description box below. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to add four little rhinestones and here you see me applying my glue. And then, um, like I said, I'm gonna do this to the index finger and the pinky.
all right so i'm done placing the rhinestones aren't these super cute let me know what you guys think i actually love them for my very first time trying to do like a milk bath smoothie kind of look i think they're adorable and so now we're going to move on to doing the top coat all right so now we are top coating i'm going to do this to all four nails um i used the one from koopa the gel top coat the one that i use all the time once I'm done applying the top coat, I am going to cure for 60 seconds. Before I do pop them in the lamp, I do um, swipe down my sidewalls just again to maintain my shape. The moment of truth, you guys. So this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think. I love the color. I love the pink. I love the strawberry submerged in whatever you guys want to call it. Milk bath, smoothie bath. I think these are very adorable. Um, some of these sets that I do, I want to do them on myself, but it's so hard to do nails on yourself. But these are really cute. I love them for summer. Um, so let me know what you guys think on the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me. Uh, love you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye!